Welcome to your next SOLIDWORKS transition lesson on data management. When coming from SOLIDWORKS, you will most likely be accustomed to using Windows Explorer to organize your files and using the file open command to bring in your data. Fusion 360 instead stores data on the cloud and is directly accessible within the software itself via the data panel, which breaks it down into projects, libraries, and samples. Projects are where you can upload existing data, create your project folders, and invite people to join the project. Anyone with that invite will be able to view all contents within that respective project with access rights managed via Fusion Team. Libraries are where your cloud assets, i.e. templates, libraries, and other configuration files are stored. As Fusion uses the cloud to store data, you can find these assets available on any computer you log into, which is particularly useful if you have any custom data you do not want to recreate each time. Finally, the samples folder is where training and sample materials are stored to support you in your Fusion development. Fusion still utilizes a traditional file command, letting you save, open, and export, giving you more control over how you manage your data. When creating a new design within a project, you'll see a version number which updates each time you save. Clicking on this gives us a number of options, including detail of the design's history, with time of last update, by who, and for what reason, with the most recent at the top. Should you find the previous version is preferred, you can simply promote that version to the top. The details also include where the part is referenced and what it is referenced by, which can be particularly useful when working with large or multiple assemblies. You should note that if you move a part to a different location within a project, these references will be maintained, meaning no broken links. With respect to this, there are two ways of linking existing data into your design. The first is a simple copy which creates an instance of your inserted part and is only updated when the original is updated. You can see when a component is copied, as identified by the chain symbol. The second is a derived component which lets you selectively bring in or send bodies, sketches, joints and or parameters, for example, to an existing assembly, which can be useful if you need to use certain bodies as a reference or use parameters to drive other component designs. You can always break these links, meaning they will now have their own entity within the assembly and you can edit as you would a normal body or component. Finally, any generated 2D engineering drawings can be found here, so those looking to manufacture can quickly click on the link to access this data. Fusion helps mitigate a lot of issues associated with traditional file saving approaches as this includes risk of users working on out-of-date models. With Fusion, the data is stored in one location with the most recent on top and a trail of its development recorded. You can also view details via a web browser by clicking on the link which takes you to your Fusion Team Hub. Here you can export to several file formats, edit, manage and share files, upload and create new projects and files, Review details, including where you can manage project members, and all activity related to the folder you are in. In this lesson, I showed you some examples of how to interact and manage your data using the data panel and web browser through the use of Fusion 360's cloud services. We can now move on to the next lesson, which will show you how to best collaborate with your peers and key stakeholders.